It's official. Darwin Nunez is a Liverpool player. 100 million euros, if you include add-ons, has been reported of the fee that they have paid Benfica for the 22-year-old striker. Shaka Hislop with us. Uh, Jan Agafjortov as well. Uh, Jan, good deal in your opinion? It is. And I think the Liverpool has been good at doing great, good and great deals. Uh, they got a great mixture of, of buying players, make them better. And when they give out a lot of money, they with Van Dijk, with Alisson Becker, they, they, they seem to hit. And, and Nunez will do, do different things for them. They will, I mean, you, you'll find that Mane will go out and Nunez come in. Uh, will, they get, um, will they be worse? Will they be worse off? I'm not sure. I think that this quality will fit in there. And I mean, I got so much praise for Liverpool's recruitment uh, over the last season that I think they'll, they'll hit it again. To that point, though, if, if you're saying you're going to come in and fill in for Manny, they're big shoes to fill, given what he's given the club over the last few seasons well, and how probably, far they've gone with him well, in the he'll starting probably, eleven. He'll probably play some, most of the time as a natural striker and it'll, it'll be Diaz or Jota or whatever happens to Salah. That's what they'll do. This is another signing, along with the Haaland one, where I've heard quite a lot of these people who just crawl out of the woodwork and say, oh, I don't think he'll fit in. This fit in brigade <laughs> has sort of popped up and raised, raised its head. Right. Good players generally, really, really good players generally fit in. One, he has every attribute, a bit like Haaland to an extent, but not, yeah. not quite at that level, certainly not at the moment. Big and physical, great touch, two-footed, can play wide, but scores goals on both feet, inside and out. I've seen, I've seen him score some great goals from, from 20, 25 yards, top corner. I've also seen him score goals where he's in, bang, attacking balls in the box. Stevie and I talked about this during a couple of the shows a few weeks ago. For all Liverpool's great play and City's great play, they both want to get an out-and-out -out striker, a front man. Maybe can, they can do a little bit of other things, but they're both teams that were top of the tree in England and have been for... Two or three years now, both want this kind of player. It's an option. And I just don't get this. Oh, I'll be struggling to fit in. Anybody who scores goals at that level fits in. And that includes this guy. And as Jan said, <laughs> Liverpool's recruitment, really, in the last few years, they haven't got too many wrong. Yeah. Shaka, are you so, just, just, in no, just, brigade? Just, Jan, just, you've just, talked just, a lot today. Let Shaka talk. Shaka, no, are you just part of the Okay, sorry. No, sorry, but I just a reply to what he said because it's interesting how close these teams are and they both see the need to get a proper number nine. And that's what I wanted to say, this, this tight team. And they kind of do it on the same period of, of the season. All right, Shaq, you're done now. You can but, go. Yeah, no time go. for Shaq. Oh, no time for Shaq. Uh, as Shaq, you I part of the fit in brigade. <laughs> yes, no, you can go, yeah. indeed. I, I, uh, yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever been called part of the fit in brigade, but I, I, I'm, I'm in agreement with both Craig and Jan. Jurgen Klopp has got his transfer business absolutely right. Just about the only player who's come in for any criticism in coming into to Anfield has, has been Thiago. And you've seen how important he's been over the last six or 12 months. So that criticism has died down as well. I see absolutely no reason to think anything different of, of, of Darwin Nunes coming in, given uh, both Sa uh, Mane's and Salah's ages. It's, it's a good signing, especially considering, considering his age. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.